11, 19, Jackson Sherrod. The caller reports a woman who he says is tweaking out after probably taking some drugs. You've never seen her before? No, I've never seen this lady in my life. Okay, did you see what you she was wearing? Man? Is that who you're talking to right now? Yeah, she keeps grabbing on to people. And she's just eating random stuff off the floor and seeing stuff. But more calls come in that take it to the next level. 911, where's your emergency? Hi, I need an ambulance and police. Don't come over here. This girl is, um, I don't know, she's out here on drugs. I just was watching a live video of my cousin on Facebook, and she's down uh, at her house. She killed a cat in the What's up, what's up? It's your boy once again. With another episode of Foolery. And when I mean foolery, I mean this is some mess. Now, I don't even know. I had to think about it even doing this one. I'm like, I don't know. This might be a little spooky here. There's some crazy stuff here, man. So I was like, all right, so let's do it. Let's do it. Guys, y'all ain't going to believe this. Now, I know all this political stuff is out there. You know, the election is over with, so let, we can let that go. But this has nothing to do with the election, I mean, the politics and all this other stuff. Um, this young lady is on drugs and does the unthinkable. And I'm going to let y'all see this. So, with no further ado, make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and share, and definitely hit that notification to catch the next crazy video. Now let's get it. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. What did you do? Brace yourselves. This one's extra gruesome. Because what this woman allegedly did was murder a cat. And if that's not enough, she also ate it. Ooh. She destroyed that cat. Yeah. This is First responders found this woman on the scene covered in blood with cat hair still stuck to her lips. It was so disturbing, it even shook up veteran officers. As long as I've been a policeman, I've never had a call where someone was eating a cat. This ca <sighs> We can't just go past that, people. We can't just, we can't, we, I had to pause. I had to pause, I'm sorry. This has nothing to do with, they're eating that cat, they're eating a dog, it ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> that was funny, though. But this is a true thing in a regular neighborhood. I don't even know what city this thing is. Is it in Cleveland? But a regular neighborhood where someone got hold of the wrong drugs or whatever this woman is on, but decided to kill and eat a cat. And she's sitting out there and they watching her rip the cat apart and eat it. If this ain't some wicked stuff, I don't know what is. But I had to pause it for a minute because I know everybody's sitting here like, this ain't real. This ain't real. Yeah, this, this shit's real, man. This happened. This happened. So let's, 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 let's keep watching, man. Just let the people talk about it. This case is out of Canton, Ohio, about an hour south of Cleveland. On August 16th, just before midnight, 911 dispatch there got a disturbing call. 911, where's your emergency? Hey, uh, I'm in Jackson, Sherry, and I have a, um, I have a black woman that's tweaking out real bad. She's on drugs, real okay, bad. What's your address so I can get the block range? Uh, 19, uh, 11, 19, Jackson, Sherry. The caller reports a woman who he says is tweaking out after probably taking some drugs. You've never seen her before? No, I've never seen this lady in my life. Okay, did you see what you she was wearing? Is that who you're talking to right now? Yeah, she keeps grabbing on to people. And she's just eating random stuff off the floor and <sighs> seeing stuff. What is she wearing? Uh, a sundress with flip-flops. Like, like, um, gold slides with a sundress. It's like rainbow sundress. Okay. Yellow, green, blue. I swallowed it. Orange. The person he's... Now, I wonder when he ran up on her, she hadn't gotten to the cat yet. He said she's just picking up random stuff. And I think it was like spiders and bugs and she was eating that stuff. But where's her family? Where's her family members come out and get this woman? I mean, seems like she's been out here for a minute doing stuff and no family members. These strangers calling in. 
And this is August 16th, 2024, people. This ain't like it happened years ago. This recently happened a couple of months ago. This is crazy. What's describing is 27-year-old Alexis Farrell, but the caller doesn't know that yet. He just knows she's getting too close for comfort. You can even hear this on the call. Look, in my mouth. Look. Okay, and you've never seen her before and she's just grabbing on you? Yeah, she grabbed on my uh, my lady too. She couldn't let go for a minute and she walking up on me right now. You need to back up. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna get someone out there. Did she come out of 1133? No, she just came out of nowhere. So that call was disturbing, but more calls come in that take it to the next level. 911, where's your emergency? Hi, I need an ambulance and police. Don't come over here. This girl is, um, I don't know, she's out here on drugs. Lexus, or something. Do she's um, Lexus, pulled the head off of her cat. Ooh. Uh, she Lexus, said she took ice. Me. I don't know. We just need somebody like to come get her. Thing. The calls keep coming in that Farrell is outside eating a cat. <sighs> Dispatch even hears from her cousin, who says Farrell was performing this disturbing act live on Facebook. I just was watching a live video of my cousin on Facebook, and she's down uh, at her house. She killed a cat and is eating it. I need med uh, police and um, medical. Why do you need medical? Uh, I don't know what she took, what kind of drugs she's on. So you're, so she's you're on saying a live video eating a cat. So you're saying that she's at 1310 Row Court? Yeah, Southeast, Canton, Ohio. What's her name? Alexis Farrell. I'm sorry, say that one more time. Alexis Farrell. Her cousin says before Farrell started eating the cat, she ate something else that is also a bit disturbing. I know my cousin just caught me. And, you know, she was the one who told me to go look at the video, whatever. She okay. said she just left her house not too long ago and she said she just came, came downstairs out of nowhere and was tweaking. And she's like, I don't know what she was on, but she ate a spider off the wall and now she's eating a cat outside. You know what's crazy about all this is that you can hear people in the background telling her to not do this or this. Nobody really stopped her, but they sat there and recorded it live while she did it. And that's where we go on astray at, people. We're not trying to stop our family and friends from doing something they're going to regret. We go to record it because we hope we go viral and one day... I can get some change off it, even though it's your cousin. What happened to it protecting the family? They don't give a crap about family no more. You do something, they go straight and go live. Well, they shouldn't have did it. Nobody grab like, if you start eating animals and spiders, somebody need to grab her. Go get her, hold her, whatever you need to do, because something ain't right. But no. We pop out our phone, just like fights and everything else. Somebody dying and getting stumped, you get your phone and start recording instead of stopping somebody. That's what we do out here now. We got to do better, people. We got to do better. Black, white, all. I'm talking to all. There ain't no one. So nobody don't, oh, your people do. No, everybody does that. Everybody. There's another 911 call that comes in, too, requesting both police and a medic. What does she need a medic for? She, um, she's um, done pulled a head off a cat. She done killed the cat. She, okay, um, yeah, we have police on the way for that. Why you wouldn't send a medic? Why are we sending a medic? Because she was eating a cat. Oh, oh, oh. And we, said, we, we, send, we send police for something like that because that's more of, someone, it's more of a... Someone, it's more of a mental health issue, and it's it's a it's a criminal issue too for animal cruelty. This caller says that in addition to killing and eating a cat, Farrell also said she killed her own children. We need somebody to come real bad because she's been down here talking about how she killed two kids. Canton police arrive on the scene just before midnight, and all this is caught on body camera video. Now, one thing about that call, they should have sent medical. Because there's a mental issue going on. And plus, she's on some type of drug. So that 911 operator's in the wrong on that. To my, Why would I send the medical? Because she's out here eating a cat, so she got to be on drugs. So you're going to need medical once the police get her under control. They need to sedate this woman, find out what drug she took, and get her to the hospital ASAP. That's why. That's stupid. 
oh, that's a, that's a crime. I, that's an animal. You see what I'm saying? Something that happened. Now, I hope this everything since this election, things changed back to normal stuff. But something has happened, man, in the last couple of years where people just don't have no good common sense no more. You're more concerned about that animal, which I know people love animals, but the woman is having that mental issue where humans don't eat animals, not those animals, not domestic cat animals, stuff like that. We don't eat that. There's a medical issue here. She's on drugs. Get medical out here. Get the police out here to get her under control. Get on a gurney. Get her butt to the hospital. Now, can they charge her with cruelty to animals? I don't know because she's not in her right mind. But definitely, yeah, you can't just come eat somebody's pet. I mean, yeah, it's a lot wrong with it, but still, we are still humans, and we got to go with the human side of things. Right with her and the cat. Right away, the officer is in shock, asking Can Phil... Can you imagine walking up on that? What did you do? Why did you kill the cat? The officer tells Farrell to get up off the ground. Stand up. By now, a small crowd has gathered around Farrell. While Farrell is waiting in the back of the squad... Hold on a sec. Let me, let me go back on this real quick. I want y'all to see something. Okay, this is the part I want to show. Look at all these people standing around. Nobody went over to stop her. This is what I want to show. Nobody went over to stop her. They just standing around looking goofy. <sighs> we got to do better. Stand up. By now, a small crowd has gathered around. Look at that. Everybody just walking around looking. About her other threats. She said she killed two, two kids. But before officers can learn more about that allegation, they have to cuff Farrell. Put your hands behind your back. It's really clear from early on, it's not safe to touch Farrell because she's covered in blood. Someone got rubber gloves, she's covered in blood. After all this, Farrell is finally handcuffed. All right, you got gloves. Mm. You got rubber gloves. This is crazy, man. Nine five. Nine five. Boy, y'all need to get Nine off that custody. stuff. Where do you live at? Twenty two fifty five hours. And she must be in a neighborhood no one really know her That's like her that. Like, how did you get here? That would be my question. How did you get here? Did you drive over here? from the scene, headed for the squad car. Together around here, I haven't found anybody walking around. You think I'm going to get from the headquarters? Yeah. Hold on. I'm... But before she can be loaded into the car, the officer wearing the body cam grabs a blanket from the back of his squad. That's so Farrell and her bloody clothes aren't directly on the squad car seats. Putting a blanket on that back seat first. Uh, you want to get some pictures of her hand and her, we get to take pictures of her cat? Yeah. I'll get it. We'll just do everything. 48. Don't get in the car yet. 48. You contact the caller and never come up with our force. This is wild, man. This is in the United States. I never understood with people on certain drugs out here. Like, even when the crack epidemic came through, you saw what it did to people, and yet you still say, I want to try that. Some of our friends, especially women, beautiful women, got on that stuff, and now they just, <sighs> but then you'll say, I want to try that. Why you want to try that when you just saw what it did to these people? They looking like the zombies out here. Same thing with meth. You know, it's more of a meth, more like, I don't see a lot of, you know, people of color using meth. Most of the time I see 
around here anyway, it was the Caucasian people, and it tore them up, you know, swords in the face, all that stuff. But same thing. Why would you do it after you see what it did to your friends and family? And you say, I want to try that. It never, I never understood that stuff. Never understood it. But this is where we're at now. So she said something about ice. I don't know what ice is, but if it make you eat pits, then you might want to get off. her Miranda rights. Hold on. So you have a right to remain silent on anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to an attorney if you can't afford one, won't be appointed to you at state's expense. You have a right to have that attorney present during any questioning. You have a right to stop answering any questions once they begin. Do you understand your rights? Do you understand? The woman just ate a cat. You think she understand that? That is so stupid. She just Bill ate a cat. Really answer, but does play along when officers take some pictures. <laughs> Smile for me. Oh my god. Smile with the Go like this. And then the officer asks point blank the oh. question we're all wondering. Did you eat that cat? Did you eat it? No, why'd you kill it? The officer has heard enough and says it's time for Farrell to get in the squad car. Get in there. It's ridiculous. Now see, that's why a lot of cops get a bad, bad name. Y'all handling this all wrong. All wrong. You sitting here upset and saying stuff. The woman is on drugs, something. Somebody could have given it to her. You really don't know. I had plenty of friends back in the day that was giving stuff, and they were acting a fool within like four or five hours later. So you don't know if somebody slipped something in her drink, and that's reality. I mean, the reality of it, but you're treating her like she did it intentionally. She don't know what's going on. She's eating bugs and cats. Come on, people. He's not ridiculous. Arr. No medical out there whatsoever. Here. While Farrell is waiting in the back of the squad, the officer heads back to the scene of the crime. Then asked her, did you eat the cat? You see her eating a cat when you walk up. It's all right, other kitty. You're safe. Part of the crowd is still there, and they have some answers for the officer. Did you guys see all this? No, we pulled up and she was just laying there with me. Did you see her eating it? Eating it. She was eating it? Yeah. She said, but it blood on the bottom of her shoes. She said she stumped it out. Yeah. Stumped the head out. Well, you don't kill a cat and go to the hospital. You go to jail. Up next, the officer makes a call on his radio discussing what to do with the body of the cat. Sam 410 That's what she was saying. Yes. Copy out of Denver with Sam 410 That's so dumb. You walk up on a scene with somebody sitting there eating a cat. Or even a dog or anything domestic like that. And she eating it raw. And you guys don't think something is wrong with her? No, just take pictures of it. 
Who's going to hold a deceased animal? Absolutely ridiculous. You just take pictures of it, man. Y'all got to discard that. It'll be smelling before tomorrow. All right, have a good night, folks. And now is when the officer learns a bit more about Farrell's kids, the ones she apparently claimed to have killed. What the f***? Will you guys go check her house? Uh, yeah, there's one on. Yeah. Yeah, we got her. Yeah, she's going to jail. Yeah, I mean... Clearly, she's going through something, but it so maybe she's going through something mentally. Bro, she lost her, her mom, kids died, killed themselves. Yeah. She gave her kids to somebody. You know what I mean? She tried to go get herself right mentally. So she doesn't have her kids because she was telling people she killed them. No, she did. She never killed her kids. Her okay. kids were a family member. She uh -huh. sent them to somebody to try to go get herself together. Mm -hmm. That person she sent them went was fucking beat with. Mm -hmm. They went somewhere else. Okay. So, she said she, she didn't fucking kill him, though. Okay. Hold on. No, I got him. Yeah. So where were you when all this going on, man? Yeah, another set. You'll need to admit the county. Tell you, man, some wild stuff out here. Y'all just don't know. No, she told these other people that. Hey, Drina, this day, Sean, where, where is Lexus' kids at? Yeah, see? Okay, because I just walked down here. She was telling these people, I mean, she going to jail, I guess, but she was telling these people out here that she killed her kids. That's the only reason why. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, she What sort of charges Farrell will Maybe she's trying to go to jail. Cruelty to companion animals. Huh? I'm quite sure it's cruelty to Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Talking amongst themselves, the officers discuss Farrell's children and the heinousness of her crime. I spoke to his, uh, Deshaun. He stated the female doesn't have possession of her kids. Uh, well, thank God she don't. The cat. She doesn't have possession of her kids anymore. So, yeah, gross thing. She said something about she told two kids to flush them out the toilet. So, is the Humane Society coming out? I don't know yet. Judy said they would, and they'll hold the cat as evidence. She destroyed that cat. Yeah, yeah. This is f I told him, I don't like him anymore. <laughs> as long as I have, she had cat hair on her mouth. As long as I've been a policeman, I've never had a call where someone was eating a cat. From here, the officer gets I'm, I'm, to the yeah. and drives it's not to the county normal. jail. During this time, he speaks with the woman who's watching Farrell's children, confirming they are alive. Hi, bud. I'd already made contact with that key show. When I was talking to Sean, he called her. She has the kids. They're fine. After about a 10-minute drive, they arrive at the jail. Yeah, I'll be curious about what she's taking and what's going on with her mentally. And the thing is, I don't know if any of y'all ever worked in law enforcement or anything like that, but when you have people that do stuff like this, you got to put them on like a suicide watch. You can't just put them in there and walk away because they are out here doing something that's inhumane. They are eating bugs and animals off the street, domestic. Something's wrong. You can't just put them in there and just walk away and leave them 
Because what if she start go banging her head up against the wall and doing all this other stuff? You see what I'm saying? I know it's something they're not used to seeing, and that should make you be more aware about, I mean, cautious about what you're doing with her and how you handle her. Medical should be called on the spot, come and check her out. You know, they just moving nonchalantly because they're more concerned about the cruelty to the animal. We got that. That's a charge. You can't do nothing about it. can't bring the cat back. But what's going to happen after that is what she does. You know what I mean? So you got to think about all this stuff when you're doing this and stop. You know, you can't get in your feelings about it. She destroyed this cat. You're going you're gonna to get charged for that. But afterwards, you don't want now it be a suicide thing or or self-inflicted type injuries going on in there because you got to deal with that all night and stuff like that. his body cam bed and focuses it on the room where Farrell is being held. See, they can't Farrell see her. Is put in that holding room, continuing to pace back and forth until she yells out, almost making a yelping sound. Later, she motions to the cuff she's wearing. In a little bit. We'll check him in a minute. I think the worst I ever seen was someone eat their own feces. Eventually, an officer adjusts her handcuffs. That'll make it throw up. What kind of sale is that? <laughs> I know it's also when they, um, before they put it in the car, nobody frisked her. You know that? They just saw the blood and stuff like just cuff her and put a blanket. They were concerned about it. She could have had something razor blades inside her, you know, or, or panties or she got shorts on up on her. You don't know. Some kind of, she could have anything. And most, they didn't even bother to even check. They just put <laughs> Man, it's crazy. Because they didn't bring a female in to, to frisk her. You know what I'm saying? And maybe they think because she has some this type of dress that she doesn't have anything, but I'm telling you, people can hide stuff. They hide stuff in their hair, under their breasts, you know, underwear. During this time frame, you can hear officers talking in the background about the harshness of Farrell's alleged crime. You like animals better than humans. Come on, people. About two minutes later, Farrell is moved from the holding room and walks past the body cam. She did this on Facebook That's where the body camera recording ends, but not where Farrell's story ends. 11, 19. Okay, so that's the craziness of all this. Now, I don't know what in the world, how they supposed, what their procedures are. I don't think they know. But, you know, the cop kind of getting a little personal because he loved animals. I got it. I got it. We all love animals. I, we got dog, grew up with animals. But you got to also, like I say, stay professional about what you're doing. And so definitely need to call medical because you don't know what she's taking. People say she may be on something. You got to be on something. Something mentally wrong with you if you're sitting in the middle of the sidewalk tearing a cat apart and eating it and you got hair, cat hair all in your teeth and blood all over you. 
there's something wrong. And so I don't know what the procedures are these days, but I think people are more caught up in the wrong stuff. And we need to get back to reality where we're not moving so much on our emotions. Put it that way. Just like when um, Kamala was running for office, she said she ran off joy. What the H is that? I'm running off joy. That's an emotion. Who is running right here saying I'm, it's joy? You see what I'm saying? Everybody's so caught up in their emotions and how they feel, we overlook about what's really happening and what's going on. So I tell my sons, don't move by emotions, man. Move by actions. Don't be getting moved by emotions. Emotions and feelings will put you in the wrong situation. And that's why these cops, like that one cop, like he would just, uh, because he loved animals more than people and than humans. I don't even know how to even answer that. No, you don't. Because if it was that cat or you, which one would you pick? You see what I'm saying? So don't say dumb stuff. Well, guys, what y'all think about this video? Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. And let's do this right here. I'm tired of you guys because we got older people on this channel. We don't have little kids on this channel. If you're saying some racist stuff on here, I'm going to delete you off here. All right? We're grown. Make grown decisions. I mean, comments. And keep it moving. We don't have time with all the trolling and the, the racial remarks. Either way. All right? Either way. I'm not with it. All right? Let's do something new now, and let's just be right with each other. And it's your boy, and I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing, and peace.